Uh, and that's what we were going to do. We were going to tell the truth. October 31st, a few weeks ago, she went into the Scranton Times lawyer's office and she lied. Again. After years of telling me how regretful she was to put me through that and to put others through that, my family, her family, after years of regret, she went in and she redid the same thing. And I'm devastated. Not so much for my case, which we'll talk about in a moment, but I'm devastated for our friendship and for the, the trust we had for each other and But there's something that you don't know, and I can't talk about it. But there's a reason why she did what she did. And it has nothing to do with telling the truth. And that is going to come out in trial. Not in discovery, not in depositions, at trial, in front of a jury. And I could prove it, Tim, if you're listening. I know you are, you snake. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Hinton from the Scranton Times is now looking me in the eye. And I think he now realizes, I know what you did. I know what all of you did. And I could promise you, what you did was a career ending move and I can prove it and I will prove it and everyone could celebrate your little victories right now because you got your affidavit from the girl who lied the first time and then lied again the second time and this time perjured herself but I know why she did it and I'm going to expose it all the last guy that you wanted in this position is me. I am the king of exposing the truth. 